The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more.
I said, well, not yet. He said, my dad and mom worked in the plant during World War II when those, when, when, when we built six by sixes. And he said, not only that, but dad and mom drove six by sixes from the plant down the Gulf Shores, Alabama. Wow. And I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness, what a trip that would be. Oh, yeah. And then we talked about that a little while and I left. And then I thought to myself, well, why didn't I ask him, how did they get back? <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, so anyway, then all of the employees, oh, the uh, whistle, the whistle always blew at 7.30, always blew at 7.30, and all of the employees went through that gate. All of the employees went through that gate and came back out through that gate. And also, on this corner, here, really you can't see it in the fence. Uh, the uh, building was quite small, but that, but the build, building housed the uh, uh, the uh, sales, the IH sales at that time along with the IH credit union and and at that time or at least when I hired in and I don't know if she did prior to that time but I'm assuming she did I I hired in November of 59 that Mary Henning always came over to the tech center and did business with us folks who had joined. And then later on, then later on, the IH Credit Union became Free River Credit Union. That's where I go. Uh, I did not know that. So, my, my. I didn't know that about my thing. That's the old thing. And so Wednesday I'll be there. Doing, doing my business.
just 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 about ready, ready to fall down. It's full of asbestos in the Yeah. That's the original yeah. It must be different than the other building. Yes. All the other buildings were all different. It's the one building that has it on.
Metal Sam? No metal swab. We ran two shifts a day, so it sounds like we could do 16 hours a day, but between inspection and maintenance and other things, we probably were 10 hours a day. So 1,000 hours is about 100 days is about three months. So we would be doing the equivalent, a test that we thought was equivalent to about 20 years of service in about three months of time. Now, it looked really severe when this stuff was running in here. Hearing protection was required, stuff's banging all over the place. You can't get in it because if something goes, if the little electrical spike hits the system and the actuator goes shooting through the roof, you'll, it wouldn't be good. And we had a lot of people want to get in. We had some executives get it. We thought about leaving them in. But, um, <laughs> so, but, um, but it, 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 was, it, was, it was, you looked at it and you think, oh, crap. I'm not doing this. Wow. Station nine also can pass lab.
messed up his plan for what was happening in the parallel. It had a DVD player. Uh, when you were, came up here to do a presentation, you transferred your files onto this computer and you read everything to do your prof professional presentation. There was method to our madness here at Navistar. And this was left behind by the company. This is our actual product development methodology all the way through from understanding customer needs. What do we want in our next model? We create a model index that has the features that we want into that new product. We'll then go through the styling concepts that Dave just went through with you. We'll do the design and we'll build prototype trucks. So you'll see a station here later where we build trucks in this facility. And then we will take those out and do all the testing that we're going to go through as well today. There's a lot that leads up to job one in a plant. And that kind of lays out the methodology that we use to get to job one. Mind.